Okay. <laughs> Woo, what's up, everybody? We're here. We're back in Lethe riding around. Man, I'm telling you, immediately what a difference the riding is here from Cebu. You know, just really green, really lush, really mountainous, you know, real curvy roads. I, I love it. A lot less traffic. Uh, really a big, big, big fan of Lethe riding. By far, by far my favorite. Um, you know, just really, really dig it. So yeah, up here, Mary Rose. I know, right? Give Mary Rose black in the comments for no helmet. I told her, I said, look, you gotta bring a helmet with you. You gotta have one down here in Lente. We got one in Cebu that I've had, uh, but we need to get her one uh, just to bring one down to keep she keep here in Cebu. So she's uh, she is working on that. But honestly, the helmet laws for uh, passengers aren't as strict in this particular area. Um, as they are for the drivers. Now the drivers, you basically need eyewear, uh, helmet, you need like, you know, eye protection, head protection, and feet protection. And that's really the, the only real requirement. And that'll, that'll vary depending on where you're at in the Philippines, so. But man, here we are. Oh, just beautiful out here in, back in Palapan area in Southern Lente. Really uh, love it out here. Gorgeous. Yeah, this is, this is what I love about the riding in the dark, which is different than Cebu. Really, really different. Gonna do some different stuff with uh, filming today. Um, that brought the drone with me, so we should get the drone up and up and running here. We'll shoot a little bit of uh, of the scene. Really, kind of excited. To get out and riding around. Mary Rose is off today. She's back. So we're back in uh, Lete. She's. She uh, was unable to get the internship in Cebu City for various reasons, not really kind of because of her own efforts. She interviewed with like several different companies, but uh, yeah, kind of the long story of it is that she couldn't get it working there and uh, had to come back to Palapan and here at the, uh, doing her internship here in Palapan. So, which honestly I'm excited. I, I really enjoy province life, this life out here. I mean, look at this road. It's just, you know, beautiful, no traffic out here. I have the road to myself and just kind of cruise around. And, you know, absolutely stunning, but Cebu is uh, a lot busier, right? So that's what we're out doing today, just cruising, just cruising, her day off. I head back to Cebu tomorrow, I'm just kind of cruising around. Join us for a ride, man. Uh, the riding super green out of the dry season now in the little more of a, a wetter season you can definitely see it's super green out super lush beautiful mm. yeah Mary Rose back there Ooh, ah, she loves the she loves riding loves the twisty roads it's gorgeous <laughs> uh, she's having fun back there. Puppy dogs. Ah, oh, an old Volkswagen bus. Crazy. Volkswagen bug, I mean. Ah, oh, so beautiful, so green. That's a curvy road right here. Oh, super curvy road. Love it. Yeah. for a little bit apartment hunting actually looked at a couple places prices range anywhere from looks like 
for you know just a one bedroom, five thousand to uh, I think the top of it was around ten, but around five to ten thousand pesos a month, so really inexpensive. Oh, no, so not so bad price wise. Love to get out here and explore a lot more. Beautiful road here. Guy, guy, want to get around me? I'll let him get around. You know that? Oh, okay. I thought you knew that person the way you were reacting. Oh, okay. It was confusing me because I didn't know. I was like, what, yeah. what's this person doing? Yeah. Right? He's waving at the camera. Really beautiful part of the road there, too. Super curvy. I mean, just this whole road is spectacular. I've been on it several times now. I really enjoy it. A lot of construction though, I mean, but this is all new road here. You can see there's leftover construction parts. Eco Park is around here, right? Yeah, right up through there. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah gorgeous. Yeah, this is definitely this is distinct from the riding in Cebu right here. No, no question. Back there, <laughs> and honestly, I like the people out here too. The people are really friendly. You know, not the Cebuanos aren't friendly, but the Latinians are a lot friendlier than I, than I think. Uh, dog and a puppy. <laughs> They're liking the camera? Yeah. Oh, are they? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's just beautiful up here. Look. Yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, so this is the big construction site off here. Yeah. Oh, let's just chill out. Maybe chill out here for a little bit along the, along the road. It's really nice. Oh, that's that same truck. That's the car. That's the car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Chill out here for a little bit. That's the car. When he... When he... He just came down the mountain. Ah, oh, I love that road. It's so beautiful. Oh wow, check it out. You're getting ready to plant some rice. Yeah, they're starting to plant right there. Oh, so cool. 
Yeah, we'll get the drone up and fly it around. You can see it there. <laughs> They're smiling. You see them smiling? Yeah, that's cute. We're just flying the drone around there. We'll, sh we'll show you guys. The we'll put that in right there. Yeah, it's the plant season. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Once they get those crops planted, wow, just gorgeous looking. Yeah, over here they're planting too. Mary Rose is saying it's really hard work being a rice farmer. It's uh, yeah, a lot of hard work and not for not a lot of money. So, yeah. Ooh, I'm in fifth gear. Actually going 40 miles per hour. Put my visor down. <laughs> yeah, the riding speeds here are pretty slow. Yeah, more rice fields, plant. Oh. Yeah, stay. It definitely feels nice and cool though. I'm loving it. Not so hot. It feels good. We'll run up here at the town. Almost there at the town. Get some lunch. All these light terraces through here. Man. See if we can find some lunch, guys. We'll be right back. Just got back, got caught in a little bit of rain, which honestly, that's about the second time I've been caught in the rain since I've been here. It was really great because I got to uh, test out my rain gear and all that stuff. So I do not have good, I mean, I do have good rain gear, but what I brought with me um, is, is not, uh, a, a, well, it's fine, right? Like it protected me from the rain where the drops didn't kind of hurt, you know, as you get moving on a motorcycle, the raindrops can hurt a little bit, but you know, I'm drenched, so, but still it's, 80 degrees and, and raining so you know in some ways it feels good you know but anyways back at the hotel back at the fn lodge i've i've shot a couple of videos on this in this lodge already really uh really dig this place if you're here in palm pond definitely uh look at this place i actually think it's probably probably the one of the better places to stay here in palm pond and the prices are about uh what 1200 a night i think 1200 pesos a night so really inexpensive nice place quiet although there's some construction next door but Anyways, back at the hotel, we're gonna dry off and then um, we're gonna go down and grab some barbecue, possibly with some friends, um, but we're gonna go down and grab some barbecue. So be right back. <laughs> 